What's happening guys? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic. Now a lot of your wireless charging systems these days are pretty awesome. We are able to wirelessly charge our phones, our watches, earbuds, you know, a whole slew of things are able to be wirelessly charged. I know there's a couple of small light manufacturers in the market right now that already do some form of wireless charging. In the Olight and the Streamlight section, they do have some wireless charging. But we've got a couple of them new to the market right now with SP Tools and Snap-on both putting out a dual light wireless charging system for technicians. We're gonna go in depth in these today and see how they really work. Now before we go into the review, in full disclosure, I have been sent this set of lights from SP Tools for free for product testing. I did purchase the Snap-on set for full price, so I'll be as non-biased as I possibly can and just give you guys the facts. Now first up, we have the Snap-on light. This part number is ECFLPRA350. Both of these are a two light system. Both of them have lights that have a 500 lumen lamp and a 300 lumen lamp. Here with the Snap-on one, we've got a couple of different ones, starting off with the smaller of the two lamps. Uh, the smaller one right here, uh, it does have an individual part number of ECFLD030. Uh, this one has a lamp that is only on the very end of it. Pretty bright, 300 lumens for this one. Uh, the flat surface here on the back is for the wireless charging pad. And we'll get into these wireless charging pads here in a couple of minutes as well. As far as this one goes, actually pretty kind of a bland light. One single LED source at the very top of it, nothing along the sides, of, so it has that one. Uh, the charge indicator is going to be on the very front of it. We'll go into that when we plug these in for the charging aspect. Uh, the single rubberized button on the front side, uh, red and black, good old fashioned snap on with it. Uh, pr seems to be pretty well built. Does have a nice rubberized outside texture to it. Very nice, easy to hold in the hand. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it, I wish they would have put some kind of a light on the front as well as on the top that would have been something pretty nice for that one. Uh, like I said, pretty bright, pretty light, uh, but you're not gonna be putting this one inside of your pocket or anything like that. You're not gonna be, you know, holding this in different places, it's just gonna be sticking right back on there. So unfortunately, I, I would have to say that with the magnet there, uh, it does not have a magnet on the end of it either, only on that back side. So not really great for putting in the places, it's just gonna be a handheld light solely. Now let's go over here to the SP and look at the comparative lamp on that one. The entire part number of the whole light set for the SP one is SP81499 for this pair. Now the comparative one right here, if you're gonna order this one separate, this one is gonna be part number 805054A20. Uh, this one is gonna be the smaller of the two lamps, also putting out the same exact lumen output as the smaller of the two snap-on lamps. 300 lumens of output, one single button located right here on the side, right here in black. You're gonna click on that one, and it's gonna have a lamp on the top. Click it a second time lamp on the front side of it, which has four LEDs, also going to be 300 lumens on that one as well. Very impressive that you're gonna have both those lights. You can't run them both at the same time, but you are able to have them one way or another. So if you wanna be holding this just as like a standard flashlight, holding it around or sticking it right there. This one also does have magnets in two different places. It has them on the back side which would be for the standard charge point. It also has them here on the base. The base of this one is able to swivel. See how far it'll swivel. Little more than 90 degrees in both directions. Oh, I think that's a pretty nice little feature there on that one. And this one also has a secondary holding feature. Here on the back, it also has a hook that comes up out of the back. 360 degrees of swivel on the hook so you can hang it from a source wherever you need this to hold. Um, 
as far as the condition of this one, uh, most of the orange section on here is the hard plastic. However, the sides and the front section here is the rubberized material, so it's easier to grip. A little bit of knurlings here on the side for easy grip as well. It's not gonna be the rounded version like the Snap-on one, but it is easily held in the hand also. Uh, as far as the charging indicator, four lights in the LEDs here on the front side, and we'll go into that one when we go into charging on these also. I personally like this one really well. The magnets are very strong. Comparative to the Snap-on one, this one does hold, but it's not a lot of hold to it. This one has a pretty good amount of hold on the side one and the bottom one it has a lot of hold it is a very strong magnet here on the bottom very impressed by that one and the fact that this one does swivel and have two lamp sources i give this one the leg up over the smaller snap on light now let's get on over to the brighter of the two lamps here on the snap on side it is the more of the puck style one, it's not exactly the rounded octagon puck like the Snap-on has in their other lights, uh, but this one is going to have its individual part number of ECPRC050. This one is going to be its 500 lumen lamp. I've had the chance to try this one out for about a week and a half, and it hasn't disappointed. It does have a nice rubberized texture design all the way around where your hand would grip. As far as here in the center where the lamp is that also swivels around, that is a hard plastic material. One single button to turn it on, located right here at the top, and it has one strip of LEDs there on the side of the actual lamp. In there, there's, I believe there's right around 14 or 16 tiny, tiny LEDs in there, but it does have 500 lumens of LED output. As far as the swivel and capabilities of this one, this one does have 360 degrees of swivel around. Does not, however, have any kind of side-to-side -side movement, but it does have a couple of different magnets. The magnet sources, which are here on the back side of it, it, that is what it uses for charging. It is able to hold itself up, but okay on metal surfaces. As far as on the bottom, it does have a very strong magnet on the bottom side of it with a nice rubberized texture, so you're not gonna be scratching up any of those painted surfaces. Depending on how well you take care of that one, just like any other snap-on magnetic cover on there, it might last a couple of weeks or so. Who knows, just depends on how uh, mean you are to your lights. As far as charging on this one, also does the exact same way. Has the single indicator here on the front, uh, flashes orange when it's uh, really far down, and then when you put it onto the charger, it flashes green until it holds solid green. That means it reaches full charge. I do like this one. Uh, only complaint I have after about a week on this one is that you can hear the actual swivel mechanism is starting to loosen up just a slight bit on the one side. Outside of that one, it's worked fantastically. I've dropped it, I've tossed it, it works. I do like it for that one. Now getting into the larger lamp from SP Tools. A lot of the design capabilities from the smaller lamp also go into this one. It does have the magnetic base on the bottom with the rubberized texture coating. Uh, feels the same as that one, as the snap-on ones, you know, pretty similar. Uh, the magnet on the bottom side is very strong. The magnets on the back side are also very strong. I'd say they're twice as strong on the back side compared to the snap-on backside magnets. The one single button is located here on the back. It is gonna turn on the top lamp first and then the side lamp second. The thing that I forgot to tell you guys about is the fact that these lights all have a dimming function also. So if you turn it on to this side one and you hold the power button, it will dim down until it reaches its lowest point, it will flash to tell you it is at its lowest point. You can hold the button a second time and it will brighten up all the way until it gets to the lightest point and flash to tell you it is right there. So very nice light. I've had the chance to use this one about a week. Um, also this one all the way around, pretty much all the way around is the rubberized coating with some nice little grip points to the sides as well. It's very well built. All of these lamps together, they're all pretty similar in the way that they're all IP65 rated, so dust and water resistant, not waterproof, just letting you know, but they are pretty resistant. Also, this one carries over from the smaller lamp, it has both the LED sources as well as the hook on the top with the 360 degree swivel there for you as well. Very nice, versatile light. The magnet on the bottom does stick very well and it is able to swivel back and forth see how far this one will go 90 degrees 90 degrees in either direction now if i put this one 
at its farthest point out, it is able to hold itself just as easy right there onto the side portion of that magnet. Very nice magnet. Now, in the way of charging for all these devices, they are very, very similar in those aspects also. Uh, charge time for the smaller of the two lights, they're gonna be right at two and a half hours of charge time. For the larger of the two lights, those are gonna be four and a half hours of charge time. That is from dead zero dead batteries. Now on to the actual charging pads and the charging function. We'll start off with the snap-on one here. As you guys can see, the snap-on charging pad is slightly smaller. Not really that big of a difference because the charging area on here is exactly the same. So really the SP one just has a little bit of extra plastic that hangs out about an inch over each one of the two sides. Each one of these chargers does have magnets built into it. Here on the top sections, at the top and the bottom, they have the magnets that are equally spaced apart. So not only does the magnets grip on here, they are gripping to this one, so they hold very tightly. Well, I guess not that tight, but pretty tightly. So charge time, like I said, two and a half hours and four and a half hours. The snap-on one is charged with a USB-C charging cord connected to a wall outlet that you cannot unplug from it. Now, the one thing that I didn't like about this one is that, oh, you would think, all right, this is a nice wireless charge pad. Well, my cell phone right here, we're gonna get this thing plugged in so it is functioning correctly. So we can see right here, the lamp, as it is flashing right here, is charging. Now, if I take my cell phone right here and I try to you have to hold it in the exact, oh, it stopped charging. You kind of have to move it all, there it is. You have to hold it in the exact sweet spot and it stopped already. Well, as you can see, it doesn't really work that great for a cell phone charger. Uh, it just does not have enough output from this block. It is rated at five volts and three and a half amps, but for some reason with this actual wireless charge pad, it does not charge it very well. Uh, it is wall mountable, does have two screw holes right here on, on that point, and it also is able to magnetize to your toolbox. On the back side, there is two magnets located either end, and these are very strong magnets as well. Rubberized coating, so it's not gonna scratch up any surfaces, uh, but you do not have to worry about this one coming off. They actually put a little finger hold here on the side to be able to pry it off of your box without damaging anything because these magnets are very strong on the back side of it. All in all, very nice, very sleek design, not gonna have any real issues, haven't had any real issues. The other thing that it does have is an external USB outlet port right here. Uh, it says just USB out, not sure what the output is gonna be, five volt, one amp. So it's gonna dumb down the three and a half amp down to one amp output on that USB. Good thing about that one is if you take up your 110 outlet right on your toolbox with this one, you are still able to charge in another source where if you would have had that one plugged into your one last outlet, you still have one more right here that you're able to piggyback onto. Now let's move on over to the SP Tools charging pad. Like I said before, this one is a slight bit wider. However, the magnets are exactly the same. And the weird difference is on these two that the charge magnets and the charge points are exactly the same on both of these. So I can actually take this snap-on light right here, put it onto the SP, and it charges. Charges just the same as if I put it onto there. The other light as well, same magnet points also charges the light exactly the same. So wireless charging is wireless charging on these. It works exactly the same. Now the SP1 also is wall mountable. However, instead of having two in the middle, it has four outside sources. Uh, the exact same magnets on the back has two very strong magnets that stick to any surface. Has to have the little cutout section to be able to get your finger onto because like I said, these magnets are very, very strong. Also, same features, one coming in, one USB coming out. Uh, this one uses, instead of a USB-C, it uses a micro USB inlet port. Now, there is another difference to this one. So, funny thing, when SP sent me this one originally, it was for their UK market, so they adjusted that and sent me the correct one out for the US market has a little bit different of a wall plug. The difference in this one is that the cord is a standard USB outlet, so you can plug it into just about any 
charge port. The charge port that comes with theirs is exactly pretty much the same one as the snap on one, same input, same output on it there. However, this charge pad must have a little bit something different to it. So if I turn my phone off here and then place it right here on the charge pad, it sets there and charges doesn't turn off. I don't have to set it in a weird, weird function or weird way. I'm able to slide it all around and it sits there and wirelessly charges my phone or any of my other wireless charging devices. No problem. Sits there charging the entire time. So that is a very nice source for that one that you're able to put any of your QI wireless charging accessories onto this charge pad to be able to charge them. The snap on one, you're only going to be able to charge the lights that come with the set. It will charge also the SP lights, as like I said before, same charging, same exact distance on the magnets on the back to be able to uh, adapt to the charging mats. So these lights will work on those charge mats. These lights will work on the SP charge mats. Now, as far as how long these lights are going to last, like I said, all of these have the dimming functions. So on the larger of the two lights, which will be the puck style and the snap on and the taller one for SP, we're going to run right around three to three and a half hours on full brightness. And then from 12 to 15 hours on the dimmest setting for these two. Then if we go over to the smaller of the two lights, they're going to run two to two and a half hours on the brightest setting or if they're gonna run five to eight hours on the dimmest setting. Those are gonna have the smaller of the two batteries in them. Now let's talk warranty and price because that is a very big selling point for a lot of the tool manufacturers these days. Over on the Snap-on side, everything is the exact same warranty. That is gonna be a one year warranty on parts and labor, service, whatever. Pretty much replacement from your Snap-on guy. Now the SP ones, they're gonna double that. They said, we're gonna give you guys 24 months, two years warranty, charge pad, lights, all the same thing, full replacement warranty on all those. Now let's talk price. What we're looking at on that one is a little bit different also. So the Snap-on right here, they are running these at like a premier promotion right now, which I really don't get that in Snap-on's aspect because not very many of your dealers will actually have this one. If you see it on, or if you've seen it on any trucks here over the last couple of weeks, very likely they're all gone and you can't get one right now. They're gonna be on a back order just like the neck lights were a couple of, uh, say five or six months ago, where they came out on promo, each dealer got one or two, and then you couldn't get another one for five to six months. So I think that's gonna be pretty much the same thing that Snap-on's going with this one. Price point on this one, full price is going to be $212 on the Snap-on side, one year warranty. Over here on the SP Tools side, we've got this one available online. They've got plenty of them in stock. Now I know they don't have trucks out there, so it's kind of a different ball game on that one, but online sales do kind of rule the world these days. This one right now normally once runs $199.99, 200 bones for the, that one, but SP since they have teamed up with me for quite a few different things, they're gonna run a promo on this one. They're gonna run this one for $149.95. So 50 bucks off for my subscribers. All you have to do is put in this code when you check out SP Light. that's gonna get you 50 bucks off this set. So we're looking at 150 bucks, $212. Even without the promo, 212, $200. I think you guys can see which one I would rather have for myself. Going on in the future, I really would like to see a lot more of these tool manufacturers make a lot more of their lights wirelessly charging. And I think that is going to be the future. I'd like to see adaptations of a lot of the previous lights as well. Like for Snap-on, I am a huge fan of the E-Carb and the E-Card lights that have come out over the last year or so. Now, if they could make a wireless adaptation charging for these, that would be a pretty big game changer. I would definitely be in the market for one of those. Uh, these lights are all fantastic lights. I've had the chance to use them for a couple of weeks. So hopefully this has given you guys plenty of information to make a decision for yourselves on what kind of light that you want to go with if you're in the market for a QI wirelessly charging set of lights. 
I want to thank you for tuning into the channel today. It has been an awesome experience. Hopefully we've been giving you guys enough information to be able to make an educated decision for yourself. We've got a whole lot more content coming out on the channel here over the next week or two. We're going to be doing some big testing for open-ended wrenches that are out on the market, testing out the real use of the uh, quad drive, the snap-on flank drive plus, as well as many other manufacturers. We're going to be putting those to the test. And then, of course, as you guys have seen, the Duramax has made a lot of headway. And we're going to be doing a whole lot more on that one as well. We're going to be doing some interior build. And we're going to also be doing a little bit in the way of testing some ceramic coating. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Turn on the bell notification so you get notified when I come out with cool, awesome content just like this one. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. And as always, you guys stay awesome.